All right, let's get to number eight, how to use Firefly generated content and text to template in Adobe Express. All right, let's Firefly and light up your life with Firefly Generative AI. So uh, we, we already did a little generative text to image. We did that a couple times already. We generated the, the pecan pie, so forth and so on. Now we're gonna generate a template. This is new. So I'm gonna go to Generative AI and I'm going to scroll down and text to template is in beta. So I can go ahead and click and type in my description of not an image, but an entire template. So I did summer party for Pam, my sister. So now we'll just go ahead and hit generate. And instead of it generating just a single image, it's actually generating an entire editable template. And the beauty of this is, like with most things in generative AI, you're unique because you won't ever see the same thing twice, not the same exact thing anyway. So I see, uh, I see four different choices and they all, by the way, say Pam, because I said it's Pam's party, Pam's summer bash, uh, Pam's summer bash. Let's celebrate Pam's party. And I can say generate more results. Maybe I don't like those first four, or maybe I do like one or two, but I want to see more. So just like with generating text to image and you can get more choices, you can generate text to, um, template and get more choices. And, and these are cool. I like these a lot. And I kind of like this one with the beach. So let's go ahead and select that one. <clears throat> so now it's loading my new template, just like it would any other template in Express. And there's my new template. So at this point, I can go in and tweak any part of this that I want. And so for example, if I, uh, don't like this image, I could replace it. If I want to say join uh, Pam's summer soiree instead of Pam's summer soiree, I want to say uh, uh, yard party. So the text is completely editable. The images are replaceable. And of course, I would probably replace this with an image of Pam. <laughs> but let's say I don't have one. Uh, so let's just do uh, yard party just to kind of maybe create a vibe for a party, even though it's not Pam, Pam's exact photo. But, uh, oh, I kind of like this one with the lights. So there we go, we got our lights, we got our, and of course save the date instead of July 20th, maybe it's gonna be, there we go, drill down. Maybe it's gonna be July 4th. All right, and maybe we want that bigger. So all the things we've already learned how to do just come into play now that we got our text to template already created for us using Firefly. Now there's one more thing I wanna do. We talked about text to template. We talked about text to image with pecan pie and other things. We didn't talk about text effects. So when I click on text, the, the Pam's Backyard is cool and I can create different fonts for that, but I wanna create something that's even more special. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that I want to apply text effects. And here I can go ahead and just like start, get a starter, maybe the flowers. And you notice that it made it flowers. I wanna change it here, there we go. Pam's uh, Backyard. And notice it's doing just that. It's making Pam's Backyard, and I'm going to stretch the whole thing out and then make the thing smaller. And now instead of that kind of just generic text, I can get rid of that now because we have something that looks like flowers. So we can zoom in on that, take a look at that. And if I want to change that to be something else, I can go to text effects and not Pam, but we can say, um, how about uh, seashells? So it's generating seashells for the look. And now we get seashells since we're on the ocean. So I can make it sand, I can make it gold, I can make it um, precious metals like this one, gold drip right here. I can just go ahead and choose that as one of the suggestions and use any kind of text effect I want. And it will then generate that one. I'm gonna undo that one because I don't want the gold, but you get the idea. 
And notice, um, I didn't talk about this, but the results are, you're getting four of those as well. So if they didn't like the first one, you can click on different ones to get different results for that text and it will generate the text. And no matter what you change the text to, or even the look of the font, it will still generate that text in what you chose. And for those of you who can't see, zoom in a little bit, those are actual seashells in the shape of Pam's backyard. So text effects, text to templates, text to image, all built into Adobe Express.